new Compaq Air Life 100. So this is an Android-based netbook. Obviously, it, it looks like a netbook form factor, but we've designed this from the ground up to be an Android-based product. You'll notice things like we've removed the F row of keys; they're mm -hmm. not applicable anymore. And we have things like Menu, Back, and Home, which are Android-specific functions. Um, we've based it on the Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset, which is an ARM technology. Mm -hmm. And being based on Qualcomm, obviously, it has a 3G radio inside, as well as GPS and Wi-Fi. But being able to be based on ARM allows us to offer a very thin product without a fan or a spinning hard drive. We're able to keep the device silent operation. It doesn't get hot in your lap when you're using it, uh, and, you, and, and we're able to keep it thin. Even though it's thin, it still has really, really long battery life mm -hmm. based on the ARM technology. So we talk about 12 hours of active usage using the 3G radio, surfing the web. Um, and then it also offers a different capability from a netbook. This device is always on and always connected. So even though the lid's shut, the display is off, and it goes into a lower power state, I'm still receiving my email or instant messages or whatever the application I have up and running. And then if I go and open the device up, the display comes on instantly. The device is instant on capabilities, whether that was a minute later or a day later, mm -hmm. it's still going to be uh, able to con uh, come on instantly. Um, being Android, it has a, a touch screen, and you can see we can move between the different panels, as you would expect on an Android-based product. Uh, we have the app drawer, where we can open and store your various applications. Um, obviously, it's a larger screen. We've been able to make use of some of that real estate by adding things like a launch strip around the bottom where you have various applications that you would use a lot. You, you know, you see they stay with you as you move the panels. Uh, speaking of applications, we have things like eBuddy for instant messaging, mm -hmm. Google Talk, MSN, those types of services. Uh, we have messaging, so text messaging, MMS, my personal email. Uh, we have a browser we can get into, uh, and we've added uh, tabbed browsing because we've got more real estate. We can open numerous tabs. And have it, it, what is the browser based on? Is that the it's, stock Android it's browser? The WebKit okay. technology based for Android. Yep. Um, okay, let me keep going here. So we've added a, a photo application, and you can see my pictures come up, and I can I can go through and I can, you know, pull up a different picture, and it comes up full size. Or I can go through a different um, flip UI that we've got, so I can, you know, share pictures with friends quickly on the device. Uh, let's see. So we've also tweaked the music application, uh, where we have all my songs come up, and I can sort by song or artist or album. If I click on a song, it starts to play and comes up. I'll turn that down a little bit. Um, Pretty happy with the speakers. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is uh, stereo speakers that come out the front, so it's a good experience there. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have Road Sync, so you can do connect to Exchange and get your, your corporate email, mm -hmm. calendar, contacts. And if, say, you received an email that had an attachment, we have Quick Office that can do Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF technologies. Uh, we have other partners we've partnered with, like N-Drive, to have a uh, points of interest and, and mapping solution that uses the GPS technology, as well as AccuWeather. And, um, yeah, 